Okay, so this example here is just about quickly preparing you for the next video where I talk about some A star stuff and it's uh, just one idea I want to teach you here and that is that you know vectors have a fixed direction don't you like so vector c I talked about this before in one of my first videos vector c or any old vector right has a fixed direction it also has a fixed distance it travels but the key thing here is it's got a fixed direction so if I've got three of vector c it doesn't make a difference to the direction because if you have a C and then another C and then another C it's just going to make a longer line but it's not going to change the direction same here like I've got two C's here it doesn't really change the direction just makes it a bit shorter than that line that's all really and uh, it doesn't matter if you even use compound vectors. Compound vectors are just vectors made of other vectors because compound vectors, at the end of the day, yeah, okay, a minus 2b, it just makes another vector, right? So you've got a minus 2b is just another vector, and we've got the same vector here, except for we've got three of this a minus 2b here, and half of this a minus 2b there. Either way, they're both going to go and point in the same direction. This line's obviously shorter because it's half of a minus 2b and this is three times a minus 2b so this is the one's longer but they both point in the same direction and that's all I want to explain in this video. So this video is just preparing you for the next one and the thing you have to remember is that if you've got the same vector it's going to be the same direction.